Okay, sorry, uh, I was busy and uh, I'm making this tutorial very late. Uh, let's do something nice today, like uh, some basic things. Uh, first of all, uh, we will have to display a username here, the logged in username here. And after that, we will have to make two pages and set the basic uh, auth system in our front end. So like uh, who will be able to access which page or which link and who will be able to access another because we will have to uh, modify our uh, token scope based system to some kind of roles like uh, we will have to uh, add two role uh, or two scopes one will be the administrator and the second will be the user so then we can populate um, many roles like that okay so let's start uh, uh, here we uh, i have two terminals one is for the laravel server php server and the second one is the run watch command so here first of all if we look to our JS and then components and then the nav bar sorry header here if you see we have this start bootstrap but I uh, here I want to display a username okay uh, so what we will have to do here inside our views and then no not view sorry uh, if we look to our store we have to store the data uh, inside our state okay so we will call it profile and it's, it should be like this empty for, for okay and here we will need to have something like locked in some kind of text so by default it should be false or null any anything you can give it so this will be our check uh, we can directly uh, access this uh, because uh, as we know that the store is used to have uh, a variables or a data that can be accessed from any component or any uh, view file so you can easily access these kind uh, these data from here so that's why uh, the store uh, are used okay so uh, now we have to insert data to this profile for this we will have to uh, go to our app that view and here I will have some kind of API request to bring the user data one more thing I must tell you that you can get the data from the token like and here we have inside our application so here we have all the data we decode this token using JWT and we can get uh, all the uh, user data like uh, name and email and all those stuffs but uh, as uh, for example in future if you want to uh, to update the user profile and you have a functionality to uh, edit a user information and the user click on that and uh, just update his information like first name he want to change or something like that then that data will uh, you will have to log out that user and then log in back to get the new data from the database because this always stored the old data so for that we have we cannot use this these uh, this the data from this so that's why we need to have some kind of api call on the page load to bring the user new data from the database and then store it to the data uh, uh, store that into the vivix i mean the store of the vue.js okay so here so for that we will need to have uh, api call here before writing our method here uh, we will need to have also the the route for that so let's create a route inside our api.php so it will be a get request and we can say something like uh, user let me look okay this is fine user and then uh, profile 
uh, we don't need this user here and we will have to go to our auth controller so just copy paste and well hit a profile method but we don't have this profile method inside our auth controller so we have to create it right now we will scroll down and here we can create that method okay this is great now let's go here we can do this uh, later let's have some kind of to do here and but before that we have to do some work here like first of all we will need to have uh, authenticate or any method you can define here and it will take the state and then the payload and first of all we have to check uh, we have to give a value to our as login variable here so we can use our if we check here we uh, inside our auth service we have as logged in here so we need to just import our our service here sorry services and then our service and we have to call as logged in uh, because if the user is logged in then uh, if a local storage is in uh, this item then uh, it will return the token otherwise it will return null so this will be uh, good if we make it null by default so if now if the state dot is logged in it is not null then we have to uh, give uh, to pass the payload to this profile okay and the payload is here this one and otherwise we have to make it empty and inside actions we have to call it so authenticate and then let's say it will take context and payload and here with the help of context we can commit the authenticate this thing here and can pass the payload we will get from whenever we are dispatching this so we will also pass the payload and it will pass this payload here and this will insert to the profile here okay so this is fine now let's come back to our service and here we need to dispatch that, that but we will need to import our store here Store, I think but we have to go one quarter back and then store and here we will have to call that like store dot dispatch and it is this one and we will have to pass the user dot user Okay, because uh, uh, this user uh, object contain 
because this is a uh, response or data and response response to data contain uh, many things like token and also the user object so uh, we have to uh, take that user object and pass to the uh, authenticate okay and when it is passed here it will take as payload and then it will pass to here and here we are passing it to our profile okay so now let's test this so here first of all we will need to log out and now my get the rate gmail.com and my point three okay now to check this uh, uh, we will need to go to our header and here we can get the profile the complete object here just test this and if we reload this we will have we will uh, have nothing because we are not calling that on reload so just an empty object okay and if we log out and again try to log in um like three and you see we have the complete data here so we will need just to get the name so name okay and also we can okay this is fine but if i save this and if i reload again i will have nothing here here so let's log out again and then mike enter at gmail.com mic123 and now we have mike's mike still here but we uh if we again just reload this you will have nothing here so now let's come back to our app.view to fix this so let's remove this to do here Let's give it a name also. And before create middleware, and it should be async because we will have a API call here. I forgot to write as here. Okay, before create. Uh, uh, then we have to use a try cage here and first of all we will have to check if our dot is logged in then we have to call it uh, like constant response equal to and then await our dot uh, get profile okay and we have to define this method we don't have this right now and then we have to dispatch again the same thing like we did in our auth service this thing so let's copy this and in here sorry here we will have to use it but uh, instead of uh, user dot user, we have to uh, something like use something like response dot data dot data dot user. Let's console this to check what we have inside of response. Let's copy this and inside our all service is logged in, then log out, then get here we will define that method and here we will need to have an API, API call so return HTTP dot get and auth and then profile this is fine now let's reload okay we are getting this data 
So inside response, we need to pass the data. So this is right, okay? We reload here. You see, we have now my step once we reloading. Once we reload this, we always have this my step here, okay? So this is fine. Now, uh, if for example we have some error or something like that, we can just call the logout method to log out the user. So this is fine like this. If we reload, we have this. So uh, here, if you see, now let's check out database. Okay. Uh, if you look here, we have the user table, and inside this we have role author and uh, administrator okay but i just want to change this administ administrator should be administrator this is fine but this one i want to have a user so i will have to update all here and also inside our migration so let's come here and the database and then migration and then the user table the byte part should be user now one more thing we have to do as i said we have to modify the our token scopes little bit so inside our providers and then our service provider here uh, instead of do anything and can create we can just give it a, like it administrator and a user okay user role or you can say scope or something uh, token scope this is just description you can use anything I will use this okay and same is true for this one okay this is fine now this look great but uh, okay one more thing we have to do inside our http and then auth service auth controller whenever we are creating a scopes then we have to change these also okay so this should be uh, let's copy this on our service provider like administrator and then user okay so this is fine let's save this okay close all these now let's uh, do further in the next tutorial